Welcome back to the Sword Mine. This will be part four. I wasn't too terribly happy with what happened in part three. I felt like we let our survivors down. I felt like I let you guys down here watching this. So we're going to really step up our game and kick some ass in part four here. And we'll probably play a little bit longer, try to get some work done. The crime wave should be ending soon, so we'll be able to return back to our normal activities. If you remember last time, I ended with getting an AK-47 from the military outpost, so nothing screams home defense like an AK-47, if you know what I mean. Get a 30 round banana bag. Just let it rip potato chip. Alright, so... Savita doesn't look very well. We're being robbed blindly from our food and water. And we're burning through ammo pretty quick here, so our supplies are looking pretty sh shabby as well. Let's get him to sleep because he is exhausted. She's wounded, she's tired, she's hungry. And I don't remember what we could... Here, let's make a second animal trap. Because I think we're going to have to live on rats. We're going to literally have to eat rats to survive here. Good news is I have quite a bit of fertilizer that we can use for bait, so we'll just keep turning that. We'll keep eating rats. It's going to be good for us. Rat, the other white meat. It tastes like chicken, it does, I swear. I, I wouldn't eat rat, probably, if my life depended on it. I am not... I would not be one of those people that would do well in the survival scenario. If I did eat rat, it'd have to be grilled and a shit ton of Kansas City barbecue sauce spread all over that bitch. Let's get the classical music back going on. We can't craft anything. We are in not, not good shape at all. Yep, this is bad. We have the AK, we have the pistol. We did get a furnace up next time because I suspect the weather will be the next thing to turn on us. Things aren't going poorly enough. Oh, the trader's here. Hey, hey, hey. What do you got for me? This isn't going to be good. I have a knife. Would you like a, a knife? I don't have any knife ammo, though. Can I trade my knife for... I don't know what to freaking trade for. Let's run downstairs. Let's see how many supplies I need to actually upgrade this bench. So we can unlock the last... Oh, God, that's it. Five, re five mechanical parts, shit ton of components, and like 14 wood. They're not going to make this easy on us. Alright. I'll give, you, I'll give you the knife. And you give me five of these. Give me... Oh, he doesn't like that deal. Books. I know I said I keep those guys' books, but... Who knows if he's going to survive. Who knows. It could just be his porn collection. The game didn't go into too many details. Like, you know, if you gave somebody a pile of porn to hold on to the end of the war, would you really want it back? Would you know where that porn was? What that porn was used for? There we go. That's a decent deal. I'll find ten books out in the wilderness. And he wouldn't even know his 10 books were gone. It'd just be 10 different books. I'll be doing him a favor because he probably didn't read those 10 books. I'm just a thoughtful fucking person. I don't know what to trade. I have a crap ton of, like, lock picks. Okay, how about a saw? And sugar? Sugar, sugar. I don't know what else to trade. Takes ooh two of those. Here we go. Let's see if that gets me where I need to be. 
Like I said, we're gonna be aggressive and we're gonna get shit done today. I need two more fucking lumber. Are you goddamn kidding me? Getting things done has been put on hold because we can't find two 2 by 4s There's a whole pile. Go get that pile of wood right next to the door. Can't grab that? Such cock pieces. Would you take... What the hell do I have to give away? He only has one wood. Come back when you get some more wood, sir. That sounds so fun. Come back when you have some more plank. Nope. Come back when you have some more lumber. Ah, oh, God. Come back when you have some more wood planks. There we go. So let's go to sleep. That'll probably be our one visitor for today. Take a little nap nap. Where do we want to go on a venture to? So far as I don't remember any of these places. Alright, so the grocery store I went to last time had the three friendly bandits. I kind of panic because I don't trust those guys. Like, they'll say they're friendly. Next minute, they're shooting you in the back. I've had that happen to me. They should be gone. They probably scavenged, scavenged through quite a bit. Let's go for the sloppy seconds. The sloppy, sloppy seconds. What's in here? gonna be a lot of crap I think but we need two lumber to finish our workbench and let's see if we can find anything else that might be food medicine replacement porn and tobacco we can use that to make more cigarettes to trade every time you come to the supermarket in each game there might be a different variance I've seen like there's a woman getting raped here sometimes uh, sometimes there's hostile bandits. Sometimes they have kidnapped people either in this room to the right or there's another room underneath to the left. And you can become a hero if you save the person who was kidnapped. Fortunately, we're not we're not a hero to anybody. Decent little haul so far. This guy's inventory is so small. Check out the old basement. Oh, to the right might be some good stuff. Let's see what we got behind door number two. Bandages, we need those for Savita. Shotgun, oh, Jim. There's this is gonna be six bullets. Holy crap, okay. I have to make some decisions here. Right, let's lose those. Let's lose those. Take that to trade. We need the bullets. Our AK needs to be fed. Feed the monster. Let's get rid of... Shit. Drop those. That's like a half-made shotgun. It's like a half-made pistol. Let's keep going. I'm afraid there's gonna be a lot more stuff here to... That's all garbage. There's our second plank to finish our workshop. side of the basement to look through in the roof. Can't 
and a food. That's going to be worthwhile. I wish that you could actually consume these uh, pieces of food while you're out, because I'd just rather have him eat the can. You know, he's no longer very hungry. Uh, inventory space is freed up. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't think you can. It'd be a little feature that I'd like. Two badges. Good stuff. This was well worth the uh, trip here. I don't think there's anything out here. No. So let's head up to the ceiling in a second. sugar. I like how it's playing the super dramatic music even though there's no bad guys. Just to pucker up the old butthole. Alright, let's get this door open. So at least when we come back we can go straight upstairs. I think this is going to warrant a quick second trip to come back here. Day 17, we'll probably play today 21, 22, I think. I guess I'll do a bit, little bit longer play session this time. I'm back and I have bandages. Well, better start wrapping Zavita up like a fucking mummy, because she is not looking good. She fired two bullets, but they stole four. Can't win. You might as well fire six. Alright, he's only hungry and tired. Let's go ahead and feed him. I need him in tip-top shape, because I don't know how Savita's going to pull through or not. I don't want to feed a... sounds so horrible as I say it. I don't want to feed a sick person and then lose those resources. But we can finally upgrade our bench so we get the final options. Our final build menu, I guess we could say. So, finish it. I hope I'll get better now. You better get better. Go back to bed. She looks terrible. Look at that fucking workshop. Look at that. It's badass. We can build a new door. I think that wasn't there before. We can build a... I think it's an alcohol distillery. Yeah, look at that. We can make those other parts that we need down here desperately. Let's build a ther thermometer. God, I can't talk. Thermoregulator. Heat lamp mixer. We're going to need these items to upgrade other things, so let's upgrade our furnace because we're going to need to use it soon. And the temperature is starting to get to that point where we're going to need some heating. Uh, it's dropping lower and lower every day. Boom, there's our thermoregulator. Let's run upstairs and see what else we need to... Oh, that's a badass furnace. A fuck ton of components and three mechanical parts. Alright, back downstairs. Let's see what else we can do. Nothing. We can do nothing else. We can make some really powerful booze with our moonshine and our alcohol distillery. Someone's at the door. Who's at the door? Oh, this is the news I've been waiting for. Here comes our third playable character. It's not that one I wanted, but he will work. This is, I believe his name is, his name, well, it's going to tell me now. I believe his name is Boris, if I remember right. No, Bruno, it says right there. His name is Bruno. He is a celebrity chef. Um, 
Yay. I'm sure celebrity sh You know, if if I had to pick one celebrity chef to survive in the apocalypse with, it'd be Gordon Ramsay. Shit would just get done. And then again, if you're trapped in a house with Gordon Ramsay all day, would both of you be alive at night? At a certain point, I think I'd just be sick of Gordon Ramsay's shit, and then it'd be on. But his skills with a knife, I probably wouldn't make it, so it'd probably be just him at night, cussing at my dead body. So somebody asked me in the comments of the last video, what does the bio do? When you hit bio, this is all it says. Before the war, I was on, I owned a restaurant, and I had a TV show, and I also smoke, and blah blah blah. Um, so, I said, there it is. That's all Bio does. It's a bigger picture of his face and some details. It also say how the character is feeling and whatnot, and some other special abilities. Just a little bit more information. So he is pretty good to go, so he looks very hungry. But let's put him to work. The problem with him is that, well, we're going to have a character with a little bit bigger backpack. But he smokes like a chimney. So if I make cigarettes, he's just going to fucking plow through them. And the only real skill he brings is cooking. Woohoo. Um, I'd rather have the guy who's good at combat or stealth or that, but... Hey, look at him. We got a character with ten backpack slots. Ten. So much better than eight. That's two more for those math wizards out there. So we could put two people on guard duty. We just doubled our defenses. He fucking ha. We don't need to take anything with us. We know that the supermarket is unlocked and cleared out. All that good stuff. So let's, let's run a train on this place. Go, Bruno. Oh, let's go upstairs. Let's clean this place out. I've never been on a multi-level grocery store before. Is that a European thing, or is that just a game design thing? I just find it weird. Milk, fourth floor. Milk, fourth floor. I think we can get down this way. Yeah, look at that. Like Spider-Man. parts for the furnace and the tobacco so he can smoke it all grab some wood if I can get 10 sugar we can start making moonshine again I think downstairs was a lot of the stuff I had to leave behind so we'll start to the right first. Components, electronics. Components, or lumber. That's... We can make water, but I'll take it as a last resort if we have the extra space. All right. More components, excellent. I can't make bullets yet, so I'm just gonna leave that stuff. We have more pretty things. More, uh, more sugar. I think this is the case that I really wanted to take something out of, but I didn't have room last time. Yeah. So, that half made pistol I have my eye on, so let's drop all this crap for now. Take the electronics. I don't have a character who can play the guitar yet. Take those, and then tobacco and our half-made pistol. Our broken pistol. So now we'll be able to make another handgun. Fertilizer. I think we're about full here. Packing shit in. Fill up this little satchel. I never want to come back here again. 
All right, let's lose that cigarette. No, let's not. I don't know. I'll be able to trade those cigarettes. Medicine I don't really need yet. We can just go back to the hospital if we need to. We rely on that public health care. No room. That's actually a good thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Never want to see this grocery store again. Three times is too many. Day 18. Looks like the crime wave is pretty much through. Hopefully both these characters are okay. Did we get raided? We didn't get raided. Everything is happy. Savita's feeling better. Everything is awesome. When you're part of a team. Who's tired? Put her back to sleep. She's very hungry, actually. Um, let's put him to sleep. And let's get him to work. Actually, we went out there for the furnace parts, and we still don't have enough furnace parts. What else can we craft? I bet we can craft some stuff now. We can make cigarettes. Roll those up, and we can go trade them. Hopefully, if the trader comes soon. I don't know how to make rolling cigarettes exciting. You're just watching a bar going in circles. They could make it like a mini game where you roll your paper, you put the tobacco in, you roll it back up. But then again, the uh, conservative groups would probably be saying, you're just teaching our youth how to roll tobaccos and joints. That's a horrible game feature. Take it out. It is starting to get a little bit colder. Might start firing up the furnace soon. Ten, eleven, and a twelve. One's coming soon. There we go. We got our rats. Someone's at the door. It's like fucking Christmas. Everything. Oh no, they're kids. Go away, kids. I don't want fucking kids here. They're gonna want something from me. Kids at your door. Especially in my life. If kids are knocking on your door, something happened. Or every time my neighbors knock on my door, something bad happened. They never just knock on the door. Hey, how's it going? How are you? No, it's, hey, I hit your car. Or, uh, so-and-so got mugged. Or, etc. Never good stuff when somebody knocks on your door from your neighborhood for me. Living in America. Let's go downstairs. What else we got cooking here? Can we make... We can make a radio. We have a radio. We don't need two radios. I want that door. I want that reinforced door. I want the upgraded furnace. I want a lot of things. We can make a handgun. That's a no-brainer. I don't need two pistols, but I think it would be a good idea to make one. And I bet you can get a lot for that, for trading it. Might as well use these components. It's rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. Maybe you should put on some more clothes. It's not cold enough yet. Alright, we are all crafted out down here. Should we put a log in the flame? Should we put a log in the fire for them? Ugh. I've never used this furnace yet either. Make a water filter. have any water on hand. Oh, the crime has stopped. We can actually probably keep a little bit of water. 
need to make fuel too. We need so many things. I think the villain stole most of my fuel. Most of the fuel went out the door before I could burn it. If I get another survivor, I'm going to have to craft another bed too. Usually two to three beds is the max you want. You don't need as many beds as survivors, but it really helps uh, keep them in shifts. And I have a nice little shift system coming right now, but I'm afraid if I get a fourth or fifth survivor, two beds isn't going to cut it. And they're cheap to make. It's not like a big deal. What else am I going to do with these resources? I need one of them to wake up so that I can trade spots and get him rested. Yeah, let's trade out and then go to sleep. Where should we go? Guard, guard. I think we're going to go somewhere much more dangerous, but let's go to the military. we got to trade these cigarettes before the poor old Bruno here smokes them all. And let's take that new handgun. Let's take the gem. And then we have that second handgun. I might... No, let's leave it. I don't know. Like, we have three guns for three people, but I might trade that handgun later. I don't know. We don't need it. It's nice to have. Here you go. Here's your... Uh... Here's some jewelry for your old lady back home. And he won't trade me a fucking nice pocket watch for a can of food. I need food. He won't give me food. Wow, what a... Two tins of food. I do they have the bullets. Oh, we need the food. Oh, cool, we can... Never mind, we can't do anything. Whatever. You drive a horrible bargain, sir. But if I don't give you these, Bruno is going to smoke them all. Day 19. This was a completely wasted trip for the most part. The hell are we going to do on day 19? They got raided. They took... Five bullets were used. Good grief, guys. You're just praying and praying. Who needs what? Sleep asleep and... Can't really craft anything, can I? Let's use these tins of food though before the m next morning because I don't. We don't need to get them stolen. I wonder who is rest the rebels or the military? War is hell. God, she moves so slow. Zavita, move your body. Hungry, severely wounded is not good. I think we gotta take care of her soon. Gosh, she's just limping around. And there's Bruno. Too bad we ran out of cigarettes. Someone's at the door. Who is it? Is it the traitor? It's the traitor. Let's see what he'll give me for the handgun. I has not much, but I have this. And what will you give me for it? A bandage? Can I heal her? Fuck. It would save a trip to the hospital if I could do that. 
I need bullets. I need a lot of things. And I don't have a lot. Well, I don't have anything to really trade here. This sucks. We have one freaking bullet, too. We'll get more rat mo we'll get more rat food later. Well, give me two of those. We can roll that into more cigarettes. Yeah, let's do that. See you later, you son of a bitch. Some more cigarettes. Ate them. I'm afraid to roll them now because he'll just smoke them. Alright. Guard. Guard. Scavenge. Let's take her to the hospital and get this wound fixed. I did not want to trade that handgun for a. Uh... Stupid to trade that handgun for a bandage when I could just go get a bandage for free. God, she looks terrible. Let's run her and. Hello, Mr. Guard. I'm back. Hey, can you help? He's asking me for help? No. Come get me. You'll never catch me. If you find any medical supplies in the rubble, return them to the doctor. Is that like you're going to shoot me in the face if I find something and keep it? Or is that like a suggestion for trading? Here she is. Here's the nice doctor lady. See, in the US, if you walked up to a doctor, you'd have to have your uh, health insurance card and some other crap. Probably have to have an appointment, maybe a referral. What else can we find? While we're here, oh shit, there's the uh, medical supplies they said to return. Let's, that's kind of weird, there's something in that room, and I, I don't know how to get to it. I didn't bring a shovel either. Head back downstairs. I said head back downstairs, lady. You can check through that pile of rubble. Maybe we'll find enough components here to craft something. Here we go. We're talking. What else we got? This trip might not be so bad. Get her healed. Yeah. Keep giving me that stuff. That's what we need. Have her jump down. What's that lady do? And she just completely panicked when I clicked on her. Sorry? Where the hell she went? Please don't begin to guard. I don't need to be shot. I just healed her. What kind of hospital just shoots people for saying hi to a doctor? Alright, let's get out of here. I could steal what's there, but I don't, I don't need the morality pill me right now. The shelling, I don't remember. She just ran off like she. Remembered she had a hot pocket in the refrigerator or in the microwave. Here we go. More wood. More components. I think this completes our trip. Let's go up and talk to that doctor, though, and see what he will trade me. What would he give me? He doesn't have shit to offer, does he? That bandage is worth more than I think what he has there. And I really can't carry much more. So... Let's take the risk of not being shot in the back of the head for taking advantage with us from a hospital.
Yep, I think that's good. What's behind him? Yeah, there's no room in this backpack. We are packed. Well, just the spot you can steal from. Don't get up. I'm sorry. Sit back down, I'm sorry. Let's get the hell out of here. We don't want any trouble here. Well, trouble's gonna find you everywhere. That sounded stupid. What I say that? Trouble's gonna find you everywhere. Day 20. Let's see, this is normally where I'd stop playing, but I think we have some good mo we have good momentum going. And let's keep let's keep the ball rolling. Let's see what happens. Let's yellow this game for a bit. I hate that word. Why do I say it? Making fun of myself. All right, let's eat that tin of food. He's feeling better. We can probably craft our new furnace. It's seven degrees Celsius. That is not good. Let's at least get fire in it. Now let's craft it. Oh my God! I need more components. The struggle is real. Can I craft something? Can we make? Let's make the cigarettes to trade. Roll them six. Come on. Four and five and... Like I said, I don't know how to make rolling cigarettes entertaining. We can make a song, but I don't want to make a song about rolling cigarettes. I told the tobacco story from Simpsons last video. I don't want to tell that again. Um, I don't smoke, so I don't have any smoking stories. I thought about smoking cigars once, but it's very complicated and very expensive. And I have allergic induced asthma, and I probably don't need to put more shit in my lungs that doesn't need to be there. Here we go. We can make we can make stuff. We can't make anything. Never mind. Ooh, rats. Here we go to the fertilizer. You would think the rats would learn at some point when like their friends and family keep going into that room and they never come out. Little rat prison of war camp I got going on there. We can make a garden. I've never made a garden before. I don't know how to make a garden. I know how to make a garden. I don't know how to use a garden. Like I said, that's a completely unknown to me in this game. It'd be cool to get one. But we got other things we need to build first. I like to get that door fixed first, and I like to get the furnace upgraded. And I don't know what else we got to do today. Hopefully, we can build a garden before the end of the game. It's day twenty. We're getting almost halfway done with this, so we're actually we're actually making it pretty good. I think the next big fight's gonna be with the weather. But we have Bruno now with the two extra backpack slots. We can bring back some lumber. We can chop it up into fuel and keep the place warm. Things are looking better. But I'd like to get that front door replaced. And I had this huge plan of like moonshine and cigarette production and I just haven't been able to get it really off the ground. But we can build an armchair. I killed that armchair earlier though. I don't want to rebuild something I killed. That would be silly and a waste of time. We do need to get our water production back. There we go, free water. Hopefully, all our water got stolen before, so. 
It's getting a little frustrating stockpiling it and just having it leave. This stuff isn't free. Yes, it is. It's water. It's literally falling from the sky. Free water. Come on, Bohika. Get your shit together. What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, so where should we take our little adventure to next? We can go to the Sniper Junction. That sounds fucking terrifying. We can go to the warehouse that says, But it is very dangerous. That's not a tagline that you just want to... Let's go here, but it's very dangerous. Yeah, no. We can go to the small apartment building, which might be good, but we're going to have to steal. We can... What else can we go to? Uh, small apartment building might be the best choice. We can go to the brothel. How you doing, ladies and not? How you doing, ladies? Decrepit squat we've been to, but we didn't take everything. We might need to take a trip to the hotel sooner or later. I think there's going to be a lot of shooting in there, though. The construction site I've had horrible experiences with. Semi-detached house still is 86% unlooted. And I don't remember the last time we've been there. That might have been the first place I went to. Let's take, let's take some lock picks. Let's take, uh, I don't know. Let's take the crowbar. And... Should I take anything else? Take the axe, use that as a weapon, I guess, maybe. We need to chop up stuff for firewood anyway. So let's see what we can get going. This might be the last place we'll hit here. It might take a couple runs to do so, though. Let's see. I think we've been here. I don't remember. This looks familiar. We have the trader there, and then there's a house. I don't know if that trader is going to snitch if I go right to that door. I don't think he is. I think he's just sitting there as a little NPC bot to buy and sell from. But let's... You can dig through that tunnel underground, and I didn't bring a freaking shovel, because I forgot what place this is. And I have been here before, because that is slightly dug, and... It probably took a while, and I forgot how long it was taking. We need all this shit badly. What else we got? Um, let's take it. And then... I started to dig this, and it probably took forever. Yeah, so... I think you can get wounded if you dig by hand, and it also takes forever. So that's not going to cut it. All right, we emptied this out. Let's just start chopping shit up since we have the axe here. Can I can't take any more lumber? Hmm. All right. I think we should still keep chopping stuff up though, so at least on whenever we do runs, we can bring stuff back with us. Chop up stuff now. Leave the axe behind, come back later. What's in the fridge? Did I loot this place? I guess I did. It might have been back in part one, which have been like four weeks ago at this point. Let's leave that. We need components badly. Hop upstairs. Alright, I think we're gonna need to come back with a shovel. That'll be our big game plan. We got some stuff. We should be able to do some, uh. A little bit of crafting with that stuff. Day 21. Let's wait for a couple more days and I'll probably wrap this up here with this house being looted. Can we finally upgrade this freaking furnace? Survey says yes. 
Alright, let's start eating this rat meat, people. Start getting your rats. Food is becoming an issue that I thought it would never would. We were doing really well on food at one point. She is still hungry. Just keep eating the rats, lady. Oh, look at that furnace. That's kind of badass. I may feed it real quick and get out of the way. Look at that badass thing. Kind of reminds me of the furnace from Home Alone. The one that terrified him in the basement. Another Christmas movie I'm mentioning on the channel. Oh. I just had a thought. Somebody needs to make a Home Alone skin with Macaulay Culkin's face on the front of the airplane for War Thunder. That'd be hilarious. I just found that thought amusing for some reason. That's where my head goes. Alright, let's keep the water production going. We're gonna need that to cook and eat and whatnot. And make moonshine out of. like. Can I build anything else? No. Let's keep making water filters. I can't keep enough fuel in that freaking fire either. Look at that thing. It's like breathing fire out of it. That is not safe. Somebody's going to lose their face to that thing. Eyebrows will be cinched. Keep putting that fertilizer in there. We're just going to keep living on rat. Speaking of which, let's feed Bruno some rat. Celebrity chef now is eating rodents. It's like a reality TV show in the States. Too bad it isn't cooked. Well, eat the rat. <laughs> Eat the refrigerated raw rat, buddy, and don't complain. What are we going to do next? Not a lot of options to build here. Can we craft anything in here? We need a... Uh, a lot of components to get that upgraded in a mixer. We can make the mixer now, at least. And we need another mixer for that and a... A lot of components for that. Jesus. Let's go ahead and make a mixer, I guess. Have one ready. Won't hurt anything. Right. What the fuck? So, let's see what we get finished here. So we'll finish up building this, and then we'll wrap up with the uh, last house. Maybe one or two more trips. I don't want to kill those people, but I think we're going to have to go in there and rob some stuff. Those houses are pretty usually, are usually pretty easy to get to, the ones that you have lower access to. But let's get him some rest before we go. Hopefully in uh, part five, we can get our fourth and fifth survivors, and we can really start getting some stuff done. Let's wake her up, trade him out. Let's see, she's wounded. Let's wake him up. Alright, so let's go back to the house with our shovel this time. No more screwing around. Semi-attached house. Shovel. Not too concerned. They're probably not going to be violent people, so I don't care if they hear me. I'll just make a mad dash in and see what I can grab. Save the lot picks for a much more dangerous place. Let's 
Let's head back downstairs. Keep shoveling, get these obstructions out of the way. There'll probably be some good stuff in the basement, and then we'll make a quick little run upstairs and see what we can get away with. And that should about do it for this video. So far, pretty good run. I'm pretty happy with what we did. We haven't lost anybody. We actually gained somebody. Everybody's in decent health. We're making it. It's day 21, so... Everything's going pretty good. We can probably be a little bit more aggressive even more on the next part. Here we go. I bet you there's something good in here. Motherfucking AK-47. That's the second one I have. Awesome. Hell to the yeah. And... Let's see. Let's jump downstairs first in this little hole. See if there's anything they keep in here. Sometimes there's decent loot down here too. Like components. We need those. When going, to when going into dangerous places, I like to... I don't know. You have a decision to make. Do you keep your backpack empty and just grab and steal what you can and run out? Or do you fill up your backpack when you go in so when you run you just... You're already full. You know, do you take the chance of being in your inventory longer in a more threatening house? I like to go in with a full backpack and I just make the room for it there because if I have to run getting shot at, I want to get the most out of this trip regardless. So, I'll take the risk of sitting somewhere looting something a little bit longer just to get the payoff of a full backpack. Alright, they might hear this crowbar. Like I said, I should have brought lock picks, but. The few times I've been to this house before, they've never shot me. So let's see. Moonchan. Get our drink on. They got bullets. Oh, I see the bullets down there. Let's see what to do, what to do. Bullets. That's good. What else they got for me? Let's go and break this open for the hell of it. They're gonna hear this. Uh oh. Here they come. Hurry, what's in here? Oh, there's decent enough stuff, I just don't have room for it. Let's drop that, drop that. Take that, um, take, yeah, let's go. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he saw me, he's like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, I could trade, but I have no room. What a douchebag thing to do, right? Crap all the crap out of there and then trade it to that guy for better stuff. You could probably just sit there and do a little loot circle. Anyway, thanks for watching. Part 5 will be up next week, and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear it.